I'm not pretending. Why are you here? I like watching people flounder. It's fun. Who hurt you? Chaos is one thing, but my brutality has a message. What makes you angry enough to go all the way? Everyone else be damned. And who you're going after to make your point. I'm making a statement. I can out-brutalize the most vicious opponents. I'm demanding a match with Shayna Baszler. Demanding. I like it. And work on your gear. If you're gonna be associated with me, you'd better look the part. So we're associated now? Shut up. Welcome a superstar who defines tenacious, brave, and driven. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring. has been making waves ever since her WWE tryout. If by waves you mean doing a great job of making the rest of the locker room suspicious of her motives, then yeah, sure. Cap is here, and she's ready to fight. The Queen of Spades about to grace the WWE Universe with true submission expertise. And from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler! This woman will tie her opponent up in knots. You're right about that, Cole. Shayna Baszler is so confident in her abilities and her knowledge of this game. Well, who could forget Baszler's incredibly dominant run as NXT Women's Champion? I'd just like to send my condolences to anybody whom Shayna Baszler sets their sights on. She holds the record for most women's Royal Rumble eliminations and women's Elimination Chamber eliminations. It doesn't matter if she has one opponent or 29. In the ring or in a chamber, Shayna Baszler is always ready to fight. When the mouth guard goes in, the lights go out for her opponent. The captain has been a force to be reckoned with as of late. I like it, Cole. She's mean, she's focused, and she doesn't care who's in her way. Well, she should care. She's across the ring from one of the baddest competitors in the WWE. Her punch connects. to be mindful of the referee's count here. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. From the top. Oh, God. Was trying to make a big splash with that, but there was no water in the pool. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. Tagged with a punch. At this point, this is incredibly ill-advised. You're in the middle of a match. Looking for a high-risk, high-reward situation. Uh-oh. Baszler dodges it. Nice. Punch lands. Looking bad for her here. Oh, man. Great counter by Baszler. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. the counter. Strong right forearm. Uh-oh. Headbutt. Nothing fancy there. Baszler being dismantled. Tough night so far for Shayna Baszler. Looking wobbly in the corner. Not where you want to be right now. And here we go now. Top up. Military press slam. Contact there. She 
shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking from the top. Whoa, what a landing. Coming down on their opponent like a sack of bricks. All the momentum has swung to her favor. She's executing on her plan perfectly. Coming back into the ring, back to the action. Smart strategy, attack the knee. Oh, look at mounting and now the oh. punch is hammering away. Ruthless. My Ooh. God, what a striking display. And she had Baszler scouted. She's in pretty bad shape now. I don't think she even knows where she is at this point. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. Trapped in the corner. Oh my gosh, nowhere to go. Crushing the knee there. This could be. She kicks out with force. Incredible power to kick out at just one. Solid punch. Baszler isn't gonna like what's about to come her way. Big form. Flying was ready for that. Oh, Hip toss across right into a drop. The elbow of the arm. Oh, that might have just broken something. Throws her back into the to get their chest caved in. down with high impact. I don't know if I want to go on this trip, guys, but you might have to because it's the final time, the last ride. Lights out for Baszler. She's done. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Going for the pin on Shano. Wait, what's she doing? Looks like Cap decided she still had a point to make in this match. To the corner now. This is brutal. I guess that was the three count she really wanted. I know we've been seeing a different side of her lately, but I can't believe she would go this far. And she's not done yet. Seems like she's looking for a weapon. But she already had this match won. A steel chair. What's gotten into her? Hey, look out. A show of force for sure, but not like this. Is she having second thoughts, maybe? Looks like it. Nope, never mind. Well, this match is over, but not the way we expected. Shayna may be the winner, but she's not the one walking out of here having made a statement. But why? I have a feeling we'll be hearing more from her soon, Saxton. I hope so, because I don't get it. Lately, I've been doing some thinking about the pecking order around here, in the locker room, and in the precious WWE universe. It's no secret that I haven't been the model WWE superstar the past couple of weeks. I haven't smiled, posed for the fans, or put up with any of the nonsense the suits around here are trying to get us to do. No, because something's felt off. And earlier tonight, when I had Shayna Baszler in my hands and slammed her head again and again and again into that turnbuckle, when I heard the sound her body made when I let it drop limp on the mat before I grabbed the steel chair, I finally realized what's been making me so angry. Every time I go to the ring, I'm asked to put my body on the line and pledge allegiance to WWE management and a WWE machine that couldn't care less about me. To a board guided by profit and not people who ask everything of us 
and then discard us like used candy wrappers when we don't act like they're chimpanzees and obey their every passing whim. Like I said, I've been doing some thinking, and I'm not only done following blindly, I'm gonna do everything in my power to tear apart the system by destroying every superstar on the roster who gets in my way. That was some performance. You were right. And I meant what I said. The more I gave into my anger in the ring, the more I pushed away the excuses I was making for the people in charge around here. Sure. Whatever. I still don't believe you. <laughs> Are you trying to get on my bad side? If you even have one. I'm just not terribly impressed. You may have chosen your opponents and found your anger, but so far, they've all been random. You know what they say, the best tasting livestock are the ones that you've named. I'm not taking this from you, Rhea. I don't care what you think. But you want to see brutality? Come with me to NXT. Because you know what? Despite what you say, you're here talking to me again. I think you want in. Whatever. We'll see how you do at NXT. An elite college athlete makes her WWE debut. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, Carly Prime. Prime has her work cut out for her tonight. Damn right she does. She doesn't even know who she's facing. No scouting report to rely on, just pure adrenaline, skill, and a little bit of luck. Carly Prime looks primed for her WWE debut. Here's the captain, accompanied to the ring by Rhea Ripley. And from Austin, Texas, the All-American, Danielle Showstopper Whitney. Carly Prime might be a former D1 athlete, but is she ready for the sheer violence of the cap with Rhea Ripley in her ear? Let me answer that for you, Cole. No. Carly Prime might be in over her head tonight, fellas. Carly Prime is an All-American college athlete with lots of hype around her, but I don't think this is what she had in mind for her NXT debut. And facing Cap is one thing, but this is a Cap who's been showing a lot of edge lately. And now we know why. She's been hanging around Rhea Ripley. Good luck, Carly. You're gonna need it. Boom! Slam! With authority. <laughs> to the stomach. And she denies Prime. Oh! She avoids the contact. A double axe handle. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Watch out.
she kicks out with authority. Focusing their attack on the arm. And Whoa, how about a punch? She's able to stop the blitz that was coming her way. Carly Prime showing it's not a time for lying down. It's a time for fighting back. Oh, get ready. She knows exactly what she's doing with this submission hold. Submission hold in place, wrenching at the back. Oh, oh serious peril. No, she counters. Some might see that as a weapon, but a manager is just making sure the area is safe for her client. And now Carly Prime is getting beaten down. Can Carly... And here's a cover. Shoulder up, and the referee ends the count. She's still in this one. Look at this! Oh, straight to the floor! An absolutely foolhardy decision made there. That could be very costly. Oh, no. The From the top! What? Taken out from high above. You gotta be some special kind of crazy to do that. She throws her back in. Look at that, did here! This could be it. See a kick out there. Huge clothesline delivered. Quick thinking, managing to duck out of the way, delivers a nice back body. She had a solid plan, but just couldn't execute. She's calling for it. Countered into a jawbreaker. Oh, what a counter. Coming back in the ring. Driven through the grudging covers for the pin. I'm still not sure what she's doing here, but that a decisive victory for the cap. It looks like we're getting a repeat of her last match. This Raw superstar doesn't seem content with just a win. Neither does Rhea Ripley. Is this the start of a larger partnership between these two? Cap, what are you doing? I've been worried. You're a lot of things. But this isn't the Cap I know. People look up to you. Psycho Sally? These two women go way back before either of them arrived in WWE. I look up to you. It sounds like Sally's pleas might be falling on deaf ears. I don't know about that, Byron. Well, I guess you were right, Michael. There's hope for Cap after all. Or not, Psycho Sally just ate a clothesline from her so-called friend. And she's not stopping there. What's she telling Rhea to do? Well, in Cap's direction, Rhea just introduced steel stairs into the ring. This is never good. I agree. It's taking things way too far. Is she going to slam the steps down on the Psycho Sally? No, oh, come on. Don't do it. This is too much. And down on the Sally's back. This is heinous. Someone get Psycho Sally some medical attention. And this is also sort of joke to Rhea Ripley. You're apparently a very funny one, Saxton. <laughs> Whoa, what just happened? I think we've determined the alpha of this relationship, Byron. Rhea stepping aside to let Cap call the shots? This is the beginning of something big here tonight. A new and brutal power dynamic, that's for sure.
You're doing well for yourself, I see. Star locker room vibes. <laughs> the legend graces us with her presence. I like my decor to reflect my personality, which is abrupt and impatient. What do you want, Justine? I want to talk about Psycho Sally. What about her? She eating solid food yet? So hard, aren't you? She is. She's eating solid food and she's back in the ring. Good. Good. So long as she stays out of my way. I'm sure she will. I can't imagine she wants to lay her eyes on you again. You hurt that girl. Not just physically. I wasn't... I had to show Rhea. It's a brutal world and Sally had to learn that the hard way. The hard way being the woman she trusted most in the world, beating her within an inch of her life on national television? Unless you're looking to learn a lesson in brutality yourself, get to the damn point. She's on NXT this week in her first televised match back. I thought you might appreciate the update. I can report back if you'd like to know how she's doing. Sally was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I regret nothing. But I don't wish her harm. Let me know if she's okay. Huh. There is a little of you left in there. Same person I've always been, Justine. Maybe. I'll let you know how Sally does. <sighs> Why would I care? Sally, TBD, they're all ghosts. What I care about is the present. She does well in her match, or she doesn't. It's nothing to me. I see. You have made quite a transformation. Change your mind, just let me know. Don't hold your breath. Huh. Having second thoughts about wanting to know about Psycho Sally? No. Maybe. Just let me know if the kid's doing all right, okay? We don't need to make a big deal about it. A big deal about you caring about your protege? Former protege. Sally means nothing to me now. I'm just... I'm just curious how bad I messed her up. Right. I'll give you the full report. Sure. Let her know that if she's still boo-boo facing about how I stomped a mud hole in her hide, then I clearly didn't teach her very much at TBD. You have really become a joy to be around. All the more reason for you to hit the road, Justine. <laughs>